Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January the 10th of 2021. Well, it is titled Star Cluster R136 breaks out. So what do we see here? Well, this is a star cluster known as R136. And it is actually part of another galaxy known as the Large Magellanic Cloud, which is a small satellite galaxy of our own Milky Way. And it's about 170,000 light years away. So just outside the boundaries of our galaxy, which is about 100,000 or so light years across. And it we're seeing the star cluster here a whole bunch of blue stars which have recently formed and that we see within this cluster now when a star cluster forms then they the stars the first stars that form will generally be the most massive and most energetic and they will eat away at the rest of the material so as they're breaking out they're forming this new cluster and they're pushing away the material so over time, they will slowly eat away at this material and clear out the gas and dust that remains. So as the stars begin to form, we start to see the star cluster. And we still see the remnants of the material that formed these stars, and that are still forming stars. So now it is a battle between the stars and the dust as to whether the star the, the dust can collapse enough to form new stars before the stars that have already formed use their powerful uh, stellar winds and radiation pressure to push away the material and clear it out. So could we come back in hundreds of thousands of years, we would see just a cluster of stars with a little bit of remnants of material left behind. Now this is actually part of what we call the Tarantula Nebula, which is a great star forming region and dwarfs the size of our Orion Nebula. So it is many times larger than that. And the Orion Nebula we see and look at so prominently many times, simply because it is so close to us so we can get such nice views of it. This one being much further away would cover a large portion of the sky were it at the distance of of the Orion Nebula. So a tremendous star forming region and we're seeing only a part of it here today where we get to see star cluster R136 as it breaks out of the gas and dust that originally formed these stars. So that was our picture of the day for January the 10th of 2021. It was titled Star Cluster R136 Breaks Out. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be phase the moon. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.